hey what's up guys this is rajas and you are watching input output campus so today in this video we'll see nested mapping in react.js so before starting the video make sure you have subscribed to input output campus youtube channel and also press the bell icon because when i'll upload a new video you'll get the notification first okay friends so without wasting any time let's start the video so you can see here a uh, parent component which is app component and this is simple component and here we'll do all the tasks here so first of all we need some data so outside this function we'll write here const users and these users contains array of objects so first there is name and it's my name okay and then contacts and inside this context there is a array and inside this array there is an object and suppose in the context there is whatsapp and whatsapp my whatsapp number is 628904430 okay next there is my email and my email is input dot output at the red gmail dot com you can see this array and inside this array there is one object and inside this object there's one item that is name and there is another items that is context and this context contains a array of object and in this array there is two object okay so this is one object so we'll copy this object from here and give a comma here and we'll paste it here and we'll change the name here suppose the name is input output campus and whatsapp number is suppose 999 and email is suppose demo at the red gmail.com okay so now we'll map this users data okay how to map this users data okay so let's come to this return part and here first of all write these curly braces and inside these curly braces we will write users dot map and inside this there will be a fat arrow function and from the users one by one data will be come to here suppose user is come to here and here we will return a div and inside this div we want to show this name in h2 so just give the name so user dot name so you can see here this is users we are mapping these users using this map method so from these users we are extracting one by one user so the first item this first item will be come to this user and from this user we are showing this user dot name so this is user user dot name so it will print this name inside this h2 okay so let's see the output by saving it and go to the browser and you can see the expected output in h2 tag so there was two name and these two name are printed here okay now how can we print these contact details whatsapp and email okay this is very easy so inside this div let's map this user so here we'll map this user by writing user dot what so this is user so this is user we want to map this okay map this contacts so to reach this whatsapp and email we have to first reach these contacts because 
these two things are inside this contact so we have to write user dot contacts and from here we we can reach this whatsapp and email so we'll map this so dot map and here write your fat arrow function and from these contacts every item will be mapped so just write here contact okay you can see here this is contacts so this is these contacts and from these contacts every item is coming to this contact okay now we'll return this here so we want to print this insert paragraph tag and we want to print first whatsapp and this will be contact dot whatsapp okay next we want to print email okay so we have to wrap this first so first wrap this with some diff and okay so email is inside this contact dot email okay so just uh, remove this from here and save it and you can see here name and then the contact details are showing in paragraph tag okay whatsapp and this email id so this is how we can map the nested data okay friends so so if you still can't understand this then please watch this video from the beginning because i have explained this with a very basic and simple example step by step i hope you find this video useful and please like the video and share it with your friends so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care